So now we can ask, does this thing have increasing returns to scale, decreasing or constant? And there's two ways, there's a couple ways you can go about it. So first I'll say, let's just plug in some numbers. So the easiest number is always one because that's super easy to calculate in almost all cases. And then we'll see what happens when we change it to two. So if we have K equals one and L equals one, we're gonna have Q is equal to six plus three because one squared and one cubed is just one. And now what if we change it to two? So if we double all the inputs, do we double the outputs? Six times two squared plus three times two cubed is equal to six times four plus three times eight. That's equal to 24 plus 24 or 48. 48 is way more than twice nine, and so this thing has increasing returns to scale. You can also do it the other way that I tried to show. So if we have Q equals 6K squared plus 3LQ, we could say what's Q prime equal to and scale up this thing. by a constant amount. In this case, it's not going to be very easy to do. Okay, so uh, we're going to end up with 6 lambda squared times k plus 3 lambda cubed. Sorry, this should have a squared on it. Times L cubed. We can't totally factor it out, but we can say this is equal to, uh, let's say, lambda squared times 6k squared plus 3 lambda L cubed, okay? And this thing here is going to be already greater than Q because it's equal to Q except we've now scaled, we've multiplied part of it by this lambda where we're assuming lambda is greater than 1, so we're scaling things up. So if we're adding a little bit more to that piece, then this thing's going to be greater than Q. and this lambda squared down here, if I can find it, is going to be greater than just lambda. And so the whole thing is going to be basically greater than lambda times Q. Okay. Another way to sort of argue that this, thing, this function has increasing returns to scale.